Oh, hi, Snowball. I'm 58, and I'm unemployed right now. I could hold the snake all day. I have different ones that I like for different reasons, but just for the fun factor in these guys, they're so much fun, especially when they get into my bathroom and tear it up. Anything that he, he, he has, he doesn't have just one of. I have button quail, since I had an extra tank, cockroaches, there's a ton of them here. Whatever it is he's interested in, he becomes obsessed. Almost exclusively all the pets I have, other than a few fish, I've gotten off of different uh, websites. Most of them have been free. Downstairs, it's floor to ceiling with cages. The house smells terrible. There's bugs. It is really disgusting. And it's so neat to see, take an animal that was pretty wild, and now he thinks you're, you know, God. He has a what he calls a ministry. And he goes out to the street on the weekends and he um, feeds a meal to the homeless. Dave's table, that's what I call my ministry. I feed not only homeless people, but people on fixed incomes. I believe God's blessed me so well and this is one way I can give back to the community. I feed homeless people, so I have to have a lot of pots and pans and stuff like this. This is my iguana. He has a bad tail. Birds have a lot of diseases. Rodents have gazillions of diseases. And, you know, and David's not clean. And he's not clean about his food preparation. It's very unsanitary. It's been really, really tempting to call the health department. He should have just come and set up without letting us know. <laughs> right. Their primary source of income is my mother. David's been unemployed for three years. I am uh, retired, so I get Social Security and uh, my retirement pay, which is not an, an awful lot. I guess he thought he was going to go into business selling his animals, but it uh, doesn't work out that way. Even at, when I was selling him at five dollars a piece for a while, I was losing my shirt on him. He'll breed them and he doesn't have any knowledge of breeding. The ones that are multicolored, uh, I, I bred and they came from like all brown ones or black ones or whatever. And so it's just been really awesome to see, see the colors that I get. I feel he's got too many to be taken care of. You know, they've overtaken the house. I think, honestly, she wishes I'd get rid of most of them. But she is such a wonderful, beautiful woman that she, she puts up with them. I'm over here getting really frustrated with my mom over this whole thing, and I'm just mad as a wet hen at David. My mom's been um, hospitalized because of the condition of the house twice now. It affected my lungs. And that's something that's permanent. <laughs> He's jeopardized her health over these animals. I think eventually um, it's going to kill both of them. There's a time and a place and you know, to say no.